Step it out, male art. Today we are going to learn all about the hexagon, and we are going to create the honeycomb bee hideout house with your host Tammy. Here are the art supplies you will need to begin: envelopes. Postage stamps, large or small erasers, either will do, ink pads, linoleum V cutting tools of your choice, scissors, pen and paper. First, print out the attachment provided of the larger and smaller hexagon. Next, cut this out. Then, Take your stencil and draw the smaller than the larger stencil on your eraser. Next, cut this out. We are now ready to create our honeybee for the honeycomb house. Take your eraser and draw your honeybee. An attachment with this stamp is provided. Remember to draw the behind rounded to indicate this is a honeybee as opposed to a different type of insect. Draw the stripes as well. Taking your jumbo eraser, draw your larger honeybee. An attachment of this stamp is provided. I like to add ink along the way if I find I'm getting lost cutting out my lines. Why I love the hexagon. The hexagon. Let's talk art and science. The hexagon is the most beautiful shape in nature, and it represents harmony. This is because it packs perfect, meaning it shares cell walls with no wasted space. It has six sides. Honeybees, they have evolved to use this shape for their honeycombs because of efficiency. Honeycombs are made from wax that they produce. It takes more energy to make wax than it does to make honey. To save their energy, they use the hexagon because it is a perfect shape to store their honey so it does not drip out. Also, when bees construct their honeycombs, they need to minimize the space between the cell walls while maximizing the space to store their honey. Imagine the honeycomb hideout house we are making as a square or as a circle. Exactly, it would be wasted space. Now that we have learned a little bit about why the honeybee uses the hexagon to make its honeycomb, let's make our own honeycomb hideout house card. Once you have stamped it out using your eraser, hexagon, and eraser bee stamps, you can take your paper and fold it in half. Next, cut off the top corner of the folded part of your card. This will give it an organic, rounded feeling to your hideout house card. Next, get your hexagon stamp. Choose a dark color for your stamp. Stamp your hexagon in the center of your card. This will be your door for your honeybees. Use your scissors, poke a hole in the center of your paper where you stamped your hexagon. Cut out your door for your honeybees. Next, once you have your door, you can stamp the inside of your card and say, thank you honeybees for all that you do and all that you are. Thank you, honeybees, for giving us food for life. Put your card in your envelope, put your stamp on the right-hand corner, and mail out your card. That's it, ready to go. Thanks for stopping by, and see you next week on Creative Corner, Stamping It Out, Mail Art, with your host, Tammy.